I think things will will play out. Social distancing will disappear. Mm -hmm. Already has been disappeared. Look at us. <laughs> we are enjoying life. I see a couple of people with masks. Yeah. I don't think we will see many of yeah. them as we move forward. Mm -hmm. Vaccination rate, as I said, will stabilize to way lower levels than the levels that we saw when we launched uh, the product. So, one first dose, 80%. Second dose, 75%, right? So, that's the prime. Then, in the booster, we went down to 50%, 60%. In the second booster, the fourth dose, we went down to 30%, mm -hmm. as I said. I think we'll stabilize somewhere there. Okay. This is not enough. Mm -hmm. Because as the population is, as time passes, the population will be less immunized, less current. And as a result, the waves that will be coming will come in by, with higher, uh, the clinical manifestation of these waves will be more severe disease okay. and more hospitalization, basically. That will drive higher level of treatments, mm -hmm. demands. Mm -hmm. So that on volumes, how we see that happening. Mm -hmm. the, what I, I said that I, our assumptions is now will stabilize at around 30% in the U.S. and hopefully will make it bigger, will change dramatically if we bring a flu COVID combination. Sure. Right. But that will come if it comes in 25. So that comes, let's say, a step. Now, what is why... That will be the same utilization, I think, in 23, 24, 25, going forward, right? As it is with flu. Why 23? What is the characteristics? In 23, we have very specific things. It's the year that you're transitioning from governmental purchases to commercial market. Mm -hmm. This means that at a certain end, we believe that for both products, this will happen this year. Based on all our expectations, this year will happen to both products. In order for it to happen, we need first to absorb the stocks that the government has purchased. And there are significant stocks here and in other places, right, that needs to be absorbed this year. And then once you start launching, there's a different price, right? We have announced our price for, uh, for the vaccine. We haven't announced the price for COVID, but the governmental price for Paxlovid, but the governmental price for Paxlovid uh, was based on uh, a gigantic commercial yeah, contract, absolutely. right? It's not going to be the retail price. 24, so 23 will be impacted by that. And it's difficult to predict because you don't know when the transition will happen. Also, you don't know if the government will take any stockpiles or not, strategic stockpiles. I believe likely they will, but I don't know. I can't mm -hmm. speak about that. But all of that needs to make sure that this year, 23, will suffer from those two. Mm -hmm. The utilization, though, will be the same. It's just that we are using the stocks that we sold, $56 billion sure. <laughs> dollars yeah. of, uh, of revenues in 22 of those two products, significant number in the, in the U.S. And then we will go to, to, to the remaining of the year, we will send a new price. 24 will be the same utilization like 23. We don't see any difference. But all will be paid at the new prices. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference.